Hello guys, and just before we get back into this Let's Play Pokemon Crystal version, a few updates for you. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for everyone who's watching. Uh, it's a big help to see that the first few parts have got quite a few views already, which is nice. And um, I realised that I have been uploading this quite frequently. Uh, so anyone who is just a casual viewer will probably have trouble catching up with all the videos that I'm releasing because I'm doing three parts of this every week. But to, to um, basically incorporate that, I've decided to start a few other projects as well, running alongside this Let's Play. To reduce the amount of uploads that this Let's Play will be doing, but keeping the exact same amount of uploads on my channel. So you'll still get around three uploads a week, and then uh, at the end of the month there'll be a Pokemon of the month, but uh, Pokemon Crystal version will now be only uploaded on Tuesdays for the coming events of this month. So uh, yeah, that's the quick update. And uh, before any further ado, let's get back to Pokemon Crystal version uh, on this uh, Tuesday upload. And the next part won't be out until next Tuesday. Uh, so there'll only be four parts of this this month. And uh, if that's popular, reducing this down to one upload a week while still keeping the other projects going as well, then I'll continue doing that for the foreseeable future. Uh, and uh, Pokemon of the Month will then be changed to not just a Pokemon Crystal version only Pokemon of the Month one-off special, but more a the entirety of my uploads Pokemon of the Month special, if my other projects also have something to do with Pokemon. But uh, I'll let you see what they are in the coming weeks. So um, this will be the upload for Pokemon Crystal this week. Uh, coming on Thursday will be a new project, and coming on Saturday will be another new project. So uh, look forward to it, look forward to seeing you then, and uh, let's get back to this game. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal version. We're here in Ecruteak City and it's the daytime, and after a little bit of reading up, after, you know, feeling a little bit better now getting over my illness and, you know, um, having a little bit of a rest and just taking time to think about it, I read up on everything that can help get Pokemon happy. And I thought, well, I might as well just use the standard way until we actually get our hands on one of the stones, because I do kind of want, I do kind of want an Espeon or an Umbreon on my team, so I might as well just have Eevee in my party, you know, getting the experience of just walking around with me, with our party, getting the, getting her happiness up, and whenever I find a Zinc or a you know, or a car boss or whatever. I then use that on her, on him, to up it, up the happiness even more, and just keep keep Evie happy that way. And hopefully, hopefully that will mean that um, Yeah, hopefully that will mean that Eevee will be able to get happy without us using... Without us getting, you know, the... All of those items and spending pretty much, you know, like, it would take me like 10 weeks, I think. It would take me 10 weeks. No, even longer, actually. I think it would take me 50 weeks to get all the items that I needed. But so uh, we're just going to have him in our party, and then when we get enough to get a free item from the uh, from the radio town, we're going to use it on Eevee. That will up its happiness slightly as well. So yeah, we're going to do that because 
in my last video, even though I said, you know, we won't be doing it that way, that was more, you know, I won't be focusing on just getting all the items to max out its happiness before continuing. But I discovered that, you know, if we have it in our party and we walk around with it, it will eventually just become happy after a certain amount of time. So, that's good to know. It's very good to know. But anyway, we're going to be progressing on here. I think that we can do Burnt Tower before we continue on the gym. Um, so, that was just a little bit of an update before I figure out what we're going to do next in this video. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and heal up our Pokémon at the Pokémon Center, get some items from the Pokémart, and um, I'll meet you... Yeah, I've already healed, so I'm just going to go get some items from the Pokémon, and then uh, I'll meet you outside when i figured out what I'm actually going to do in this video. Uh, so uh, yeah, that was a little bit of an update for what we're going to be doing from now on. Making Eevee happy just by having her... by, by having him, sorry in our party, walking around with him. So, uh, here we go in the Pokemart. Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to be doing Burnt Tower this beginning of this video firstly, um, because I just wanted to go up and check, you know, certain things and what we can do here. And, ooh! My name is Yusin. I'm on the tri trail of the Pokemon named Suicune. And you are? Steven, glad to meet you. I heard rumours of Suicune is in the Bird Tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Oh, Pokemon encounters here. So that's new uh, to this Let's try Surf, let's see how good Surf is, actually. That's actually pretty good. So I'm not, I'm not, um... I'm not regretting teaching Amazon Surf, then. <laughs> uh, I think it was a good, good decision, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and put Meatloaf up front. Uh, let's talk to this guy, what's he got to say? I critique's gym leader has to study what is said to be in the legendary Pokemon Suicune and Tain Raikou. It's in here, so I decided to investigate the tower with him. Okay. Ah, we require Rock Smash for that. Uh, so... To get that item we require Rock Smash. I wonder... Ooh, Raticate. So yeah, that's Raticate, the evolved form of, um, the evolved form of, uh, Ratatata. Oh, we can't escape. No! I want to escape. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So it can be annoying sometimes when that happens. When, uh... Oh, and there's the unevolved form, Ratatata. We don't have either, so we can go on basically a catching spree here to catch these Pokémon finally and increase our Pokédex. Do we require Rock Smash to get past this way? No, we don't require Rock Smash to get past this way, but we do require it to get that item. Can we get that item later? Yeah, we're going to see if we can get that item later. Oh, it's you! I came looking for some legendary Pokémon that was roosted here, but there's nothing here. Nothing after all. Trouble coming to this dump. No way! It's all your fault! Okay, so we're gonna face off against our rival here. I wonder if we're ready for this. I did save outside. He's gonna start with Hornser, level 20. Okay, we're fine. We've got Meatloaf up front. Level 20, so we're going to go ahead and use Confuse Ray. I didn't actually need to use Confuse Ray because Hornser used Curse. 
Um, so, we're afflicted by the curse, but we're going to go ahead and use Bite now. Oh, we got paralysed. Oh dear. Uh, we used Bite anyway, which is awesome. And that should KO this Haunter, no? Oh, that was close. Okay, so we're going to use a Lemonade. On our meatloaf. Heal it up. See what I mean about lemonades being super cool? Hopefully it will hurt itself in its confusion. Yet yeah, it does. And there goes the Haunter. So meatloaf did very well in that battle. About to use Magnemite. Yeah, we're going to swap out. We're going to bring out Hot Dog. Because Magnemite's a steel type. And steel types are weak against two things fighting and fire. So we're going to use fire against the Magnemite. It's not that effective, but that's fine. It didn't quite take out that Magnemite, but we should be able to take it out with two more bites, yeah. And then his level 18 Magnemite is down for the count as well. So we're doing actually quite well here. Going to send out a Zubat. Yep, we're going to send out... Uh, let me see, Zubat. If we had an Electric or a Psychic type, we could deal with him, but we don't. Let's bring out Bug Hulk. Hopefully a Zubat doesn't know Wing Attack. It's level 20, yeah, it's fine. So we're going to bring up Bug Hulk. We're going to use our horn attack against this Zubat. Hopefully that will take it down. Almost. So we're going to finish him off with a Fury attack. And that was enough. And his Zubat went down as well. And here comes his Quillava, and we're going to send out... Amazon! So we're doing quite well building up a team here. We have members of our team that can be very effective against other members of his team. We're going to use Surf here to take out his Quilava, hopefully. It's the most it's one of the most powerful water type attacks in the game, so we should do pretty well. Mud Slap as well should also be super effective, and yeah, that was enough to take him down with a Mud Slap and a Surf. And we defeated KJ Style. That was actually fairly easy. I um, We've leveled up enough, it would seem. Huh, whatever. You, w you would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. We'll see about that. Oh, what's going on? Ah! Huh. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. So if we head down this way, I think there's some items that we can get, maybe. Oh. Oh, and we're still paralysed. That's going to be annoying. Good thing is that Meatloaf's part poison. Oh, come on, just escape. Oh, there we go. Um, so we're just going to heal up here. We got some poison cure berries, so that... Oh, we, we're paralysed, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we've got some Paralysis Cure Berries as well, so that's enough, yeah, that's fine. And another Pokemon encounter, I should have really stocked up on some Repels, because these encounters can be a little bit annoying when you're just trying to continue on the game. Is there a hidden item here? No, there's not. 
and a Zubat. So I've been thinking about who we should have for our sixth member while we're still waiting for Eevee to get happy. Oh, what's that up there? Looks quite interesting. Oh, we might as well take this coughing out with our meatloaf here. So we're going to go ahead and use Confuse Ray first. And then starts using Leech Lifes as well. And we want to try and... No, that's not very effective. So we might as well just use Bites. I know exactly what move we're going to get rid of as soon as we learn something new. It's going to be Supersonic, because I don't know why we still know Supersonic and Confuse Ray. I mean, Meatloaf doesn't really learn that many moves. Coming up ahead, but look at that. So those are the wandering legendaries that we just bumped into there. And what's cool about them is that they will be pretty random around the entire Johto area, apart from Suicune, I believe. Uh, because Suicune is the main legendary of Crystal Version, which is the difference between Silver and Gold and Silver, uh, Silver and Gold and Crystal. I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked. So it can race by like a blur, right? In front of my eyes. For ten years I chased Suakun. And I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Steven, I owe you this. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Critique test chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suakun. Steven, let's meet again. Farewell. So there's now a ladder up this way, so you can just go straight down there now. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can come back here. Oh, hello, who are you? In the distant past, this tower burnt in fire. Three nameless Pokémon perished in it. A rainbow-coloured Pokémon descended from the sky and resurrected them. It's the legend that has been passed down by Ecrotic Gym leaders. Me? I was a trainer back when... Back when ho ho ho. Yeah, so basically that's the origins of. Oh, hello, Wade Budcatcher. Nice yes, to meet you. I've been growing. I've gone a bit too quickly. Oh, that's overwhelming. Oh, especially quick. Good. Oh, yeah. We KO'd a Pidgey with one hit while back. See you later. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the origin stories of the three beasts. Basically, they were just normal Pokémon that died when the um, tower burnt down. And then Ho-Oh, another legendary Pokémon, the uh, Rainbow Bird, came down from on high and resurrected them. Brought them back to life and uh, turned them into legendaries as well and then made them more powerful. Which just lets you know that, you know, Ho-Oh has the ability to bring dead Pokémon back to life. It's pretty cool. Makes me wonder why there's no, like, Gassies or Haunters in Burnt Tower. Maybe there are at night, just like there were in Sprout Tower. I'm gonna check that tonight, actually, later on. But yeah, we've, um, we're starting to level up our Pokémon quite a bit here. Uh, I was, yeah, as I was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm debating what to have as a sixth member before we actually get to evolve our Eevee. We're going to have Eevee in our party for the most part of the game now. And uh, just just there, really. Um, apart from, you know, when we need 
extra members. But uh, there's a very cool Pokemon that you can actually get in the next town from this one. Uh, I think, yeah. Um, so I might be getting that. I just need to check whether I've got... No, I don't, but I think you might get it in the next town. So, anyway, that was it for this part. We we explored Burnt Tower, we got to see the three legendary beasts. And I don't think they've showed up on our Pokedex yet, because we haven't actually encountered them in the wild. So that, that encounter with, that we just had doesn't actually count as an encounter as such. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't count as an encounter. But, uh, anyway, yeah. That was it for this part. I think that's all that we can do here before the gym. Unless this guy tells us something new. Nope. So yeah, that was it before the gym here. And uh, so we're going to be training up our Pokémon slightly, but I think that we're fairly set at level 20s. I don't think that we need to train up that much more. Um. So I'm just going to go save the game, and then in the next part, I'll train up slightly. I'd like to train up to level 21s, I think. So get everyone to level 21 before then progressing on with the gym. So that's what I'm going to be doing off screen quickly. And uh, when the next time I see you, I'll be uh, at um, the gym, so I'm just going to go away, quickly train up to level 21s, and uh, yeah, in the next part we'll be taking on a Critique Gym. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time! Oh hi guys, I was just randomly talking to this person, and it turns out that they're the special person for Sunday, because it's Sunday today, and we received the magnet. So yeah, there's special people all around um, for every single day of the week. And uh, they give us special items to help. Uh, we already got one, I think, from a Friday person. Um, I don't think so, actually. I don't think we have the poison barb. No, we don't. But anyway, we've got the magnet now, so that boosts electric type moves. So when we get an electric type on our team, uh, we'll be able to use that. So, um, sorry about that little add-on at the end there, but uh, yeah. So um, I'll be getting all of those sorts of items along the way as well. But basically there's a different person for every day of the week in different locations scattered all across the Johto region and they give you items like that that really help. Uh, and um, we'll be heading right back um, at the beginning of the next part I'll be showing you another item that we can get that will really help another member of our team. So uh, I'll train up to level 21s and then I'll see you next time. Okay, uh, thanks very much, bye bye.